representing New Zealand in the K2 1000 metres, Max Brown and Curtis Imri. Come on up, fellas. Oh, I'm absolutely over the moon to be here. Um, I think if I look back uh, 10 years ago, it was, it was sort of a very distant dream that it seemed like it could be possible, but I was sort of, you know, a bit being unrealistic, but I'm at, so I'm absolutely stoked to be here now. Um, job's not certainly done, but yeah, I'm over the moon. <laughs> yeah, I'm overwhelmed at the moment. Like, it's a pretty special moment, and I'm just taking it in at the moment, really. It's just been a, yeah, cool journey, but no, it's finally here, and representing New Zealand at Olympics is very special for me and my whole family here. Yeah. My dream never started with the Olympics, I just, I did kayaking for fun, uh, my friends were doing it on weekend, we used to go down to the club, do a bit of paddling and then go home and eat some pies and ice cream, so it wasn't professional at all, I just liked being out in the water, um, but I think I had a sort of a real natural ability to go out and work harder than a lot of other people and I didn't have the talent but I learnt to work and then kayaking gave me opportunities to uh, go overseas and race and then all of a sudden I sort of figured out the Olympics was actually a sort of a profession or a, something that you could chase. It's pretty cool that I could yeah, learn from my sister and share this special moment. She's here today um, supporting me so it was very special to give her a hug and let a little bit of my emotions out of actually how hard it's been to get to the Olympics and how much work we've put in. Um, but yeah, it's just very special and she's an open book to me so I can ask her any questions I'd like and learn just because she's been through all the experiences, um, the highs and lows and yeah she's just helped me every bit of the way and probably the one moment that I've really thought the Olympics is, could be possible was when she qualified for the Olympics, last Olympics and I was watching it from home and going why not next Olympics see if we can get both of us there. It's definitely uh, a challenge being our first Olympics but Curtis is full of confidence and I just eat off that. Um, and we've also got some amazing women in our uh, team um, who will be going to the Games, so I'm sure we can feed off that a lot. I also live with a whole bunch of the cyclists who are going to the Games. I think in our house we've got three, three boys going to the Olympics, so there's certainly some experience around, which is cool. Yes, yeah, so I live with Regan Goff and Jordan Kirby, um, who are in the Team Pursuit, um, they're, and they're a pretty hot team, and I think they'll be doing really well at the Games, and it's a real priv privilege to live with those guys because they've got experience coming out of their pockets, eh? Yeah, it's a bit of a strange one because going to the Olympics seems to be the thing to do in, in the household. So, um, so you have to sort of give yourself a slap on the face and remind yourself that this is actually quite special and uh, not everyone gets to do this. So yeah. Yeah. So next month we've got nationals, so it'll be good to race against each other as well as with each other um, for some racing and then building into the games. We've just got training here and then we'll go over to Japan a little bit earlier, get a couple of weeks in and then it's showtime. It's interesting comparing us to the competitors because I think it's been two years since we got a race against some of those boys overseas. Um, so in a way that's kind of nerve wracking but it's also real exciting because uh, when we were last race I think we might have been, I don't know, maybe two seconds off the sort of the, the top dogs um, but it's been two years so hopefully a year a second or <laughs> something like that and maybe we'll be in front but who knows, it's going to be such an exciting game because no one really knows who, how everyone's going. Thank you.